Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to Ingenuity. You hope you're ready to tackle those strut towers, because that's what we're doing. Alright, so got the suspension thrown in. I'll show you what we're working with here. Okay, so through the spare on, because like I said, it's the only thing that'll actually fit in the current tire well. Um, and I wanted to see where we had to cut before I actually started cutting um, to see what exactly needed to be done. So that's kind of, threw it on the jack. This is kind of the rough ride height. You can see there, the where the struts uh, kind of go right there is right in line with the factory. Uh, spring mount. So, um, this is the area I was worried about, um, where, I, where I tied in to the, the factory frame rail. So we're going to cut out the spring perch and the inner wheel well and see uh, see how we make out in terms of getting the, the strut in there what else we have, to, we have to cut out. So, you can see the, the strut mount, or the, I'm sorry, the spring perch rather, is this uh, reinforced area right here where they threw some extra metal layers on and you'll see that's right where our, our strut needs to go so it should actually work out pretty good in terms of inside the car so let's see this is where the shock mounts and on the other side of this is where the spring goes so um, I'm just gonna zip it um, right along the top of here trying to leave as much of this in, intact as I can Obviously, I gotta get all the, the wires and cables and everything run out of that side. Um, might start on this side because I don't have any of that. This side's super rotted out anyway, so I don't feel quite as bad. But so now uh, the next step is to actually show you why I did it the way that I did it, and that is so that this entire unit will drop out as one assembly. Um, and the way you do that is engine crane comes through the hatch supports the engine you drop the cradle the rear tra uh, trans cross member and the whole thing drops out so
right, so you got these uh, struck towers welded up. They're ready to go. Um, it's actually a lot stronger than uh, than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I, I you know had the the idea of the design, but you know the, I, I thought that there'd have to be more bracing than what there is. Um, with just these just these pieces welded in, um, they're plenty strong. There's there's almost no flex to it. So it will be braced, and then the uh, roll cage is going to have the bars coming off the main hoop that are going to tie into the back, and then this is it's also probably going to have some kind of a uh, brace to the back of the car and. Um, there's going to be a cross brace. Um, probably just use that eBay one for now until we get uh, something nicer. Um, and then also keep in mind too, uh, the top is going to get tied into the channel that's inside the window. So um, that said, we are going to have to cut those rear windows out to get um, to that section so we can seam it. So next steps, throw these in the car real quick, clamp them in place, throw the struts in, uh, measure four and a half. We want to get them to zero degrees, as close to zero degrees as possible, as well as being even on both sides. So yeah, so once once all that stuff's inside and, and good to go, and we're gonna we're gonna final weld it, and this bad boy's gonna have strut tower. So no time like the present. Let's do this. There we go. Uh, just three tacks on, uh, on both sides. This top isn't tacked, but it's also not moving. Um, the weight of everything is kind of holding everything, everything in place, so. We've got strut towers. In case you cared, that's what it looks like on the inside. All right, well, I've got a metric shit ton of welding ahead of me to <laughs> get all these seams laid. Still have to do those, uh, the, the caps on the rails and, and get those uh, fully welded in. Um, and then I have to make plates for the uh, where these are gonna attach to the windows. But that is gonna do it for me. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night here. It's been one heck, 
one heck of a couple of days. <laughs> this is awesome. I mean, we still have so much to do, but at the same time, it's like these monumental moments. Oh God, it just, it breathes life, man. That is, that is too cool. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna close this one out. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And just remember, stuff like this, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.